For today's video, we're going to do what the majority of you asked for, which is what are some of the items that I still think are worth it in 2022? A lot of it has to do with you not being tired of the item. So it's not necessarily that they're more timeless. They can still be trendy, but as long as you do see yourself or as long as you actually, I should say, as long as you do reach for the items often and it is realistically practical for your lifestyle so as long as you do wear often and it does go with practically everything that you own then those to me are considered worth it they can be different for every individual but um, yeah the list that I'm about to share with you guys are the majority I actually own a couple of them I don't own but I thought I would mention them and of course uh, a lot of it has to do with just little luxuries I feel like we don't always have to have the most holy grail bags or the most expensive bags in order to feel like those are worth it hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Amy today's video is sponsored by Vivea they create sustainable shoe wear with with recycled materials. With every pair of shoes that they make, at least six plastic bottles that have been wasted are saved and recycled. These are called the Aria 5 Ballet Flats. These are supposed to feel like you're wearing sneakers and as if you're walking on clouds. And I have to say, upon first impression, trying them on at home, they definitely feel like it. They feel like you're wearing slippers. And because the material is sort of that fabric material, like that stretchy fabric material, it's very very flexible. The front and the toe box of the shoe is made of a double-sided lycra. The insole also has a little bit of arch support. They call it the V foam, which is a dual layer foam support system. There's Artemisia added, which inhibits bacterial growth and keeps your feet smelling and feeling fresh all day long. You have the heel contour at the back made of microfiber. The sustainable lining is a layer of 100% biodegradable sustainable cloth. I love that about this company but just because they're sustainable doesn't mean that they are comfortable or necessarily fashionable but every pair that I got and you guys will freak out this is just the tip of the iceberg these ones are the other pair and these are so cute these are probably one of my favorites they are a sling back pointed almond toe. I did size up half a size, which was what they recommended as well. So I took a 38 in these. You can see that this shoe appears a bit longer. It has that more of a squared pointed toe. They're super elongating. This one does have a little bit of heel, a little bit more dressy. These would make really good shopping shoes or office shoes. Just something that you would slip on easily at work. And of course the Aria as well, but I feel like the Aria is also probably good for travel. By the way, these shoes, you can wash them in the washing machine. Definitely check them out. I am super excited to wear these. I will link these three pairs of shoes in the description box in case you are interested in any of these styles. And of course, you can use my coupon code 15AMY to save 15% at checkout. Since we're on the topic of shoes, I might as well show you the pair of luxury shoe that kind of started it all for me because for the longest time I was very really I was very reluctant on buying shoes that cost more than a thousand up to two three thousand are just ridiculous but I have to blame these pairs of Chanel shoes uh, which literally started it all for me it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that luxury shoes don't have to be not worth it they can still be worth it and still look good and still feel comfortable because essentially you want your shoes to feel comfortable uh, it doesn't matter if they just look good and it doesn't matter if they are a brand name um, and especially it doesn't matter if it's a Chanel or Hermes or whatever brands they are because if they're uncomfortable then you're just suffering in them and you just wasted thousands of dollars so for me this was probably the first pair that I was so impressed so these are um, they are a classic now. I love a really good, nice pair of white sneakers that elongates the feet, but that are really, really comfortable. I think that is what I have noticed about Chanel is that all of their uh, dressier footwear are just terrible. Like they're just uncomfortable. I, I just don't even understand how people can wear them that that is how bad for me they are but for their sneakers however 
they are just so great i've tried a number of their sneakers and of course these are my favorite love a good white pair of sneakers i also love the accents uh, like a little bit of logo here on the laces and of course here uh, and of course there's also right here when it comes to accessorizing not just with the shoes but even with your hats and things like that having that really pop or that crisp white uh, really brings out the whole outfit it just really does and so another pair of chanel shoes that i have they really do feel like i i am walking on clouds of the cushioning and everything uh, that uh, chanel sneakers have it's just so wonderful um so yeah i just didn't have an opportunity to wear these yet or maybe i just was too lazy to kind of get them out and everything since i still do have a lot of sporty sneakers like this that i already wear when i go for my walks but if i needed a pair that was dressier like my nicer sneakers these would be the ones that i would pull out and i just haven't had the chance to but um it just goes to show for me chanel sneakers in general i feel like are still worth it not any of their other shoes um maybe with the exception of certain boots but i feel like you cannot go wrong with their sneakers that is how strongly i feel about chanel shoes it's it's just sneakers or nothing <laughs> i think this is the only other pair of shoes that i was going to feature so let's just talk about it as well so if you're looking for a good pair of a very very pretty a very very dressy like way more dressy than the flats that i showed you earlier uh look no further than the jimmy choo bing 65 especially this height is just amazing um i think i've talked about these shoes so many times already since i got them and which is not very uh i didn't get these very for very long but i have worn these for almost you know an entire day from noon till midnight because i was at a wedding and these were the only shoes that i brought and i was really i was really surprised at how i was still able to walk at the end of the day of course um you know it still has a heel and it's still pointed and everything so it's not gonna be like you're wearing sneakers but for what they are and for how pretty they look because they look pretty right they don't look comfortable they look pretty that pointed uh toe box kind of scares you a little bit but because they are kind of that wider fit here I, I don't even think it's for wide feet, but it's just the way they've designed it. It accommodates your feet and your toes way more better uh, than most heels I've tried. I've tried a bunch. Uh, Manolo's especially just, oh my gosh, they just don't even work for me. I think Manolo's are made for people with very narrow feet, whereas the Jimmy Choo's, uh, and I heard from all of you that Jimmy Choo shoes in general are very, very comfortable. So I will say for me, the Bing 65 are just so good. I wish I had discovered it way earlier. I have some hats here and I have a few more on the bed. And I will say, even though I went a little hat crazy last year or so, and I definitely don't need that many hats, I will say that a good designer hat is still worth it. Uh, why? Because especially with caps like these, they're trying to dress down and or maybe you have a very bad hair day and you just can't care less but you still want to style quickly and get out the door and still kind of look put together. Well, a designer hat kind of allows you to do that. Um, I will just warn you, however, it can definitely get out of hand. Like you can buy way too many like I did. But if you were to just buy one, choose a color that is bright and... Um, that kind of really accents your 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 outfit i feel like for me i made the mistake of buying too many black hats because while i love this one as well this one is from almez and sometimes i do need a black hat to kind of go with that that sleek look but most of the time i will say if i didn't have all these black hats i would rather wear something like this because if i'm wearing these hats i'm casual anyway and I, I kid you guys not, like this one, this white one, I actually end up wearing um, more and, and I, it's, it just really brightens the whole look. It, it has logo and everything, but 
it, you just need one. Don't buy too many. One or two, right? Don't buy too many. And any time you need that one piece of accessory to just go with your whole look and you're just being lazy and all, um, this is the answer. So, I mean, even the pink one. I'm not mad at the fact that I got the pink one. The pink one is also really, really cute. But if you want just like super neutral, white is always a good idea. Just like shoes. White sneakers are always a good idea. I will show you a couple more examples, although these are a little bit more pricey, right? So because these are Chanel. But um, similar, I think similar idea, right? Especially in the winter or something like this. Yes, lots of logos and everything, and it's so hot. I don't even know why I'm wearing all these hats for you, but just to show you, it really elevates the look. And like I said, you're not going for, you're not going for timeless. These are pieces that you are reaching, uh, realistically reaching for a lot because I think most of us, especially during the pandemic, but I think most of us, our lifestyles are not really that lavish. In any case, my Chanel hats are still really good purchases for me anyway i feel like for me they are worth it because i do i do tend to wear this hat a lot too this is such a neutral color yes it has some logo but it's such a neutral color it goes with my wool coats and then the other ones that i showed you they're more brightening and they're more casual and it just kind of pulls together a really casual outfit on days that you're really not trying to dress up, but you're also not trying to look so bummy, then they really help a ton. If you have to choose between fine jewelry and costume jewelry, fine jewelry is way more worth it. Yes, they cost more, but not all the time. Like, especially with rings, unless you're going with diamond, of course, diamond's always expensive. But if you're going for like a plain gold ring, or even with just a little bit of accented, um, diamonds they're not going to cost you an arm and a leg and in fact costume rings are not worth it because you can't wash your hands with it the wear and tear will be so terrible i think for costume jewelry i'm okay with earrings obviously uh, necklaces also most definitely fine jewelry has been really really um super worth it for me um I don't have to talk about my love bracelet again because I've done a whole video dedicated to my love bracelet. This one is the small size, so it's the thinner size. And I've also um, did a pretty comprehensive review as to like the fit, the sizing, the comfort, the wear and tears. So definitely have a watch if you haven't already. So yeah, the love bracelet is definitely one of them. The Coco Crush ring from Chanel is also one of them. The Kelly ring is also one of them. I will say ever since having these two pieces, these two, this is the ideal diamond uh, rose gold, 14 karat rose gold necklace. And this one is the Hermes Fahondol necklace. I just haven't had to remove any of these and I don't remove my bangle. I remove my rings, but that's about it. They are constantly being worn and getting a lot of use. Um, yeah, I, these are definitely my favorite. I also have these two, and these two are great. Uh, but if I had to redo it, I would just go with what I just showed you. Like, these are my favorite pieces that I wear all the time. Um, this ring is super cool. This is the CDC rose gold ring, and it's super cool. I do sometimes wear it too, but I, I really favor the Kelly now. I think the Kelly is just such that um, understated elegance. And then this one is the Justin Clou thin version. If you just ignore the rest of this video and just took one advice, fine jewelry, uh, in my opinion, is the most worth it um, luxury that you can buy in 2022. And in fact, any year, I think they are just staple pieces. They are for life and wear and tear. Yes, they do get them, but you're always wearing them. You always get used. And unless you lose them, or unless you break them, which uh, is quite hard to break any of these. I mean, sometimes the mechanisms can break and be faulty, but you can always bring it back, especially the big jewelry companies such as Cartier, VCA, all those, Tiffany, they, they usually have more resources to help you out with. Another category of little luxury that is definitely still worth it, in my opinion, are small leather goods. 
So I have a variety here, some from Hermes, some from LV, some from Chanel. This one is really, really great as a little catch-all actually because I don't really carry coins anymore, but I'm sure it's great for coins as well. So I use it as a little catch-all for my bag hanger and I also put my um, a little alcohol wipe as well as hair tie so I can always transfer this into any of my bags and have those three essential items always ready for my... Um, use and of course six key holder from lv i think i didn't choose any bags from lv to feature in this video but for me slgs from lv are still very much worth it so um this one is super old it's from 2013 so wow it's gonna be 10 years old next year so it's holding up really well i mean there's wear and tear for sure but for what it is, it hasn't cracked or anything. Um, it's got wear and tear, but it's still wonderful. I use it every day. I have a few more from LV and they're all in their pouches because these are not currently on rotation, but I could easily just be, you know, whipping them out. I will show this one even though I don't think they're worth it anymore because of the current price. The current price is just insane on these items. So uh, the mini pochette is now like almost I think it's over a thousand dollars with taxes, which I is not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth it. But if you had bought one a long time ago, then then yes. Uh, or if you can find one pre-loved in great condition, then yes, because these also make really good catch-alls. But if you're gonna buy one brand new today, don't uh, just skip this. I I don't think it's worth it. Um, but I will say their other leather goods in general, not their mini pochette, not their pochette accessoire, all their other small leather goods in general are still worth it, despite all the price increases, of course, because they really are workhorses. So this one, like I said, um, this really simple card holder, it's still really good. I can still use it. I just switched out of it because I was getting bored because I used it for so many years. And one day I'll come back to it like maybe when I travel yeah actually when I travel I would not mind just using my LV pieces because they're definitely more hard wearing I don't have to think about it and this is a really nice travel piece of course and we haven't been traveling but like I said we we're gonna go on a road trip very soon now that we can start sort of traveling again um, this will come in super super handy last but not least Chanel also makes really really good small leather goods my personal favorite are the card holders not the ones with the zip around and not the ones with the flap closure those are okay uh, they're a bit more bulky in my opinion. I think I'm more of a fan of just their simple, just like clean uh, card holders. So I have this one which is also brand new. I kind of bought it because I liked the black on black Gabrielle line with the distressed calf skin. And I just bought it at the time kind of as a, as a spare one because I only had this one and um, yeah, so I have a, a gold one and I have a black one. This one I've been using for over a year now and it's held up really well. I'm just so impressed. Yeah, there's like... I mean, if, if there is wear and tear, I don't know where the wear and tear is. Maybe there's a bit of fading happening, which you wouldn't really be able to tell unless you have something to compare to, like a brand new one to compare to. But um, yeah, these are just amazing, amazing little little pieces of luxury that are completely worth it for the price that they are and also for the durability and longevity of these items. And I'm just noticing right now that um, the gold version is a little taller. Another category of luxury items that I feel like is so worth it, if you choose well, are belts, but especially a thinner side of the belt. So I'm just going to show this one, even though I don't think that I'm recommending this. I'm not recommending the Constance belt. This one is already on the thinner side. This one is the 24, um, yeah, 24 millimeter size, which is the thinner of the Constance already. And I, I still wear it. I still like it a lot, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't necessarily recommend this one. This is one of my first belts. If you choose well, and in my opinion, choosing well for how I style myself is a good thinner belt. So my choice is the Chanel 
chain belts. So I have two right here. I have more than two actually, but these are the two that I wear more. Like I, I constantly wear this one actually, because this one is the right size one. This one is still a bit big, but essentially it's this style, this style of belt. Um, they go with everything. They go with my trousers, they go with my jeans, they go with belting a jacket if you really need to. I don't do that a ton, even though I like the idea, but I don't do that a ton. Um, they go well with belting a cardigan, all that sort of things. Uh, belting a skirt actually is really, really pretty. That's what I do a lot, actually. And so um, I feel like if you choose well, like choose one, not, not too many, one or two, then um, it will go a very long way in styling your wardrobe and really elevating that outfit. And that makes it worth it a hundred percent because if you end up if you end up using the same belt a lot for most of your outfits that's what's worth it so if you don't like chanel i feel like another option that a lot of people are great fans of is the kelly belt from hermes that one is also on the thinner side uh, it's fully adjustable so you don't have to worry about gaining weight or losing weight um, that one also seems to be a really really great choice i don't own that one I don't know if I need it actually, because like I said, I already have these and I don't want to overdo it. But if I were to choose one from Hermes, instead of going for this, I would go for the Kelly belt. These are really little luxuries uh, that are so expensive, obviously, for what they are. But I think these are super rewarding, especially when you find the right shade and the, the, the quality that they are. So very, very funnily, all of these were gifted to me. It seems that you guys know me better or know how to style me better in, in like makeup wise. And these are my absolute favorites. This one was from Kat actually. And as you can see, I really do, I'm using it. I'm not, not just, you know, keeping it pristine. I'm actually using my items. And as you can see, there's tons of fingerprints on it. This one is so pretty. It's the limited edition quad eye palette. And I, I know this color is a limited edition, but they, they have this line, which is permanent. And I feel like if you're not a makeup addict, which I'm not, but you just want one eyeshadow quad that works so well with every single look, which is essentially what I'm wearing all the time nowadays. I'm always wearing the same thing and it's always this, which is why one day I will hit pan. Yes, I actually use up all my makeup items before I buy new ones. These little luxuries will get you so far and quite a long way and it, it will be worth the money, whether they're gifted or not. If you had to buy them yourself, they're still worth it. So same with these lip product. These are all from Hermes, by the way. They're all gifted to me. So this one is cute. Uh, this is their new lip oil. I think it's super cute. I wouldn't say that this is my absolute, like, you know, the best lip oil out there, but it's a really cute color. And I think that's what Hermes excels at. They do their colors just magically uh, look really good on the lips. This one is number 52 and it's a satin finish. And this is the color that I constantly, constantly wear. I've used up quite a bit, as you can see. I'm almost hitting that Hermes logo. Also the packaging and everything about these lipsticks are so wonderful. This too, the packaging it has a mirror and everything. It's just so wonderful. Uh, I will say between their lip balm, their lip oil, and their lipstick. Lipstick is my favorite. The lip balm is good. Um, is it the best? No, but it's it's a good one. It's a good one. And of course, once you're done with the product, you can buy the refills. So you can buy a lipstick refill. Okay, we have to talk about these. These are definitely one of the more uh, affordable, but also for me, worthy of buying luxury-wise. And for me, they are the Hermes Silk Squares. I have quite the collection and I'm already looking to add more but um i okay first of all you have to like your scarves <laughs> so if you wear your scarves 
that's a good sign. Uh, if you're not gonna wear them, please don't buy them. They're not gonna be worth it for you. But if you do wear them, and if you have more than one way to wear them, which is what I do, I wear them as tops, I wear them as actual scarves, and sometimes they're just nice to even just look at. You can use it as a wall decoration, if you will. I have bought many of these also as gifts and given away a few. And so not only are these um, worthy of purchasing in 2022, they also absolutely make great gifts. The pattern on them, on each of them are so different. The colors on them are so different. Uh, that even if you do have multiples of them and quite a nice collection over time, it will still really add to your wardrobe if you wear them. Only if you wear them. If you don't wear them, please do not get them. I felt like I had to add some ready to wear and I don't know if ready to wear necessarily is a good category that is... Um, yeah, it's arguably... Is it worth it? When you go with staple pieces especially. So I, I'm just gonna ch choose a couple of examples. So I have two sets of t-shirts here this one is from Hermes this one's definitely one of my favorite and such a winner like this one kind of again opened my eyes to liking Hermes ready to wear because before that I didn't really like it and I still don't love it but I I can appreciate when they have an exceptional piece like this as with the Balmain t-shirts um they're not exceptional but what I found myself doing is that because I got the, the white ones, so I have a couple of white ones here to show you. I actually got them in, in many colors, but the white ones are the ones that I always pull out because again, it kind of brightens the whole outfit. If you just don't know what you're wearing that day, but you kind of want to just have that crisp white shirt with the whatever shorts you're wearing that day, that's where these come in handy and because they are designer i don't know if it's psychological or if it's just a material i feel like it's a bit of both it's maybe more psychological but the material on mine has been so far really great so i lucked out on the balming t-shirt um but yeah i feel like when you choose well and um you know if you're not going for a pattern like this which is still i feel like this pattern is still very classic it's busy but it somehow works it still looks very timeless even sometimes they have the pocket ones at Hermes just the white shirt um, I think those you will still get a lot of wear out of those I will put a cutaway of all the beautiful Maxmara actually they are S Maxmara wool coats that I have bought recently I told you guys that I had my eyes on a couple of new ones which I did I did end up buying them and they're just fantastic. I feel like having that nice drapey wool coat and fall is around the corner. <laughs> it's gonna get cold very soon even though I'm really hot right now. Even if your outfit is not that nice underneath, but just because you have a very nice coat and a very nice pair of shoes and a nice hat, you kind of look put together already. So I think that is the trick. One more item before we talk about all the bags that I feel like are worth it is my, sorry, this side, Apple Watch. So I feel like the Apple Watch is definitely a luxury. It's not really a necessity, although arguable at this point because now I can't live without one. But you don't need the one from Hermes, of course, and I feel like I still made the right decision getting the Hermes one. It's just nice to have a stainless steel one. It looks really sleek. It looks different from most other people's one. Not that I care about looking different, but you just feel good. You feel good that it's a good quality one. It lasts for years. These watches are so durable. My husband had his for four years I think before he changed to the newest series 7 so um, they are just really worth it let's talk about bags and not too many we're all priced out I know we are all priced out we still talk about it because that's what we do and that's what we love and it's okay to talk about it and be aware of them in any case I feel like the minis from Chanel are still worth it uh, obviously you can't get the caviar ones anymore but I only own the caviar ones. Is it still worth it if they're in lambskin? Yes but you just have to choose the right color for yourself. Don't buy just any color just because it's a holy grail color. Don't just buy any color because it's pretty for that season because they are always gonna turn out more and more and more colors. Chanel that is. Uh, they do really beautiful purples, greens, pinks, caramel, grays, 
black. Um, they do they do them very well and they always look good and it's it's gonna be an endless endless journey if you're gonna keep collecting every single color so i feel like it's a matter of knowing your personal style and choosing right i feel like for me when i buy any more lambskin bags i will go with just plain black i know i'm gonna reach for black all the time because i'm not afraid of it and even if it's lambskin so um yeah if you ask my opinion i still think that square minis rectangle minis from chanel are still worth it for what they are because let's just be real classic flaps are double that price and do you actually wear your classic flaps that often probably not so minis are still the way to go very similar to this shape if not exactly the same shape as this but with the top handle i feel like that one also is a great choice because um especially now that they're in lambskin having that top handle i think is super useful of course the bag is going to be a little different with the classic ones you get the thicker chain even though it's a little bit more money i feel like it's still a great choice because essentially it's the same bag and you do get that extra top handle which i think is really cute and more versatile to be honest the only two other bags that i feel like are worth it uh, like, meaning worth the investment in 2022, in my opinion, are these two. And you might disagree, but um, at the end of the day, like I said, there's just not too many bags that are worth it nowadays. I thought about the Deauville tote, but because I kind of experienced it and didn't work out for me, I'm a bit hesitant in recommending it, even though I know they have a new small size, which I'm very eager to try. But I know for sure these two are um, worth it because I own them and also because I feel like there's a good reason for, for me choosing these two. So with the Hermes Picotin, um, it's just such a well-priced bag and for what you're getting, like the leather, the construction and um, just the ease of use, th this bag is very easy to use, very, very, very easy to use and very classic um it's it's so worth it um i will even argue that because i got this particular version the touch version that it makes it even more special and more worth it even though it's more expensive but this really adds to the overall structure of this bag and so that alone adds to the longevity and so yeah it's totally totally 100% worth it. the lady dior you might be surprised right so with me the lady dior uh, I would never have guessed. First of all, I will say this. I would never have guessed that the Lady Dior, uh, I would consider this to be a worthwhile purchase, luxury purchase. But because I've been able to use it more this past year or past summer, having kind of gone through my collection, editing it a couple of times, and still this bag remains, it speaks volume. I think it's the fact that I realized how every time I needed a really fancy bag, this is the one that I go for. Like, there's no other bag that I would rather go for but this. That speaks volume. And you do need at least one fancy bag in your collection, right? At one point, you will want one fancy bag. Yes, I've been kind of using my mini flaps for the longest time as my fancier bag, and there's nothing wrong with that. If that's where you are at your collection, um, then just use just use it just use your mini flaps but because i only reach for this one when i need a good fancy bag that alone is a good enough reason and the fact that it's so timeless there's something about this construction there's something about this silhouette and the way you hold it and the way it feels that you just can't explain necessarily that makes it really worth it and so yes i would wholeheartedly recommend the lady dior um Again, don't get too many I, unless you're a huge Dior addict. Pretend this one has a top handle, right? Holding this and this, which one looks more elegant? This one, right? I think so. I mean, the color has a lot to do with it, obviously. Uh, but it's the shape as well. It's just the whole package. Let me know if I've missed anything that you feel like is a worthwhile luxury purchase in 2022. I can only attest to the ones that I personally own. 
you know, it, except for a couple of them, right? The Kelly belt, like th certain things that I don't own, but I can only imagine because they're very similar. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought of my list. I, I feel like these are definitely things that I do end up reaching a lot. And to me, that makes them worth it. And uh, as you saw, they are not Birkins and Kelly's because those ones arguably are not worth it. Luxury is not only very personal, but it depends on your style, it depends on your preference, it depends on your lifestyle changing, your taste changing, and so all of these can factor in as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. You can also support me further by becoming a channel member where you get more exclusive content. Thanks again, have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!